Before starting this video, I would like to give a shout out to my friends at Glaze. They have recently launched their new curved edge tempered glass for the Poco F1. It's one of the most unique products because it has got curved edges on the sides and it offers complete protection for your Poco F1. It's one of a kind product and it's case compatible with almost all of the cases too. So if you want to buy that, the link would be in the description box and you can use the promo code Gizmo for 10% off. Hey guys, Gizmodict here and one of the biggest gripes that I had with the POCO F1 in my full review was that this phone was still running on MIUI. Considering the amount of power that the POCO F1 packs in, I would have loved to see something like stock Android or Oxygen OS on the POCO F1. But then well, if you're someone who loves playing and tinkering around with your phone, then you're in luck because the POCO F1 has some crazy amount of developer support. So that's what this video is all about. We'll be taking a look at Lineage OS for this phone. And I'm also going to show you how to enable 4K 60fps recording with EIS on it. But then before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful, do click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you don't miss out on more such content. I'm also making this video in Hindi. So if you're comfortable with that, go check this video out on my Hindi channel. The link is available in the description box. Since we are talking about a custom ROM here, it goes without saying that you need a phone with unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery like TWRP. A lot of guides I think are available online in English and Hindi so just do a quick search on YouTube and you should be able to get the same. Once you have unlocked the bootloader as well as installed TWRP on your phone, things are very easy from here. You need to download three files. First of all, grab the latest zip file for Lineage OS. You also need to grab the vendor firmware zip file and the Google Apps zip file. All of those things are linked in the video's description. Once you have all of these three files, you need to copy them into your phone's storage. Now on your POCO F1, turn off the device, hold the volume up button as well as the power button to enter the recovery. Now first of all, inside the recovery, you have to wipe your system, data and cache. Make sure that you do not wipe internal storage because otherwise it will clear the whole SD card and you will also delete the ROM files. So don't do that. Only wipe the cache, data as well as system. Once you've done that, click on the install button and here first select the vendor firmware zip file. Click on it, install it. And once it is installed, now you can install the Lineage OS zip file. So go to your Lineage OS zip file and install it now. Once Lineage OS is installed, you can now go and install the Google Apps zip file. And after you've installed Google Apps, you can go and just reboot the phone because everything's done now. So remember, first of all, you need to flash the vendor firmware zip file, then the Lineage OS and then Google Apps and then click on reboot. So if all goes well, you will be greeted with the startup screen and you need to set up everything. So, you know, just put in your account information, set up Wi-Fi, etc, etc. So that's all with the installation process. Now let's come to my experience with Lineage OS. Talking about my experience, it's been great. I've been on this ROM for over 10 days and things have been very stable. The performance is top notch. The ROM feels very smooth and snappy because it's based on stock Android and Lineage OS is quite customizable too. You do have the Android pie gestures here and along with that you have a couple of other things as well like double tap to wake and sleep, call recording, one hand mode, ambient display so it's pretty customizable is what I mean. Plus the biggest highlight here is that the infrared face unlock works. So what happens normally when you go to a custom ROM a lot of the things that work on the stock ROM don't work here. But then the infrared face unlock definitely works with Lineage OS it's still super fast and all of the touchscreen fixes that you have in the MIUI beta ROMs even they are available in Lineage us so you don't have any of the touchscreen issues that you initially had on the poco f1 so all in all i love using lineage os as compared to miui and it's not like i'm missing out on any feature because you've also got google camera here and it works amazingly well the only thing that is a bit worse is the battery life i do still get a full day battery out of this phone but my screen on time is anywhere around five to five and a half hours so not as good as what it was on miui but then i can live with that Maybe changing the kernel might help but then this setup is working for me for now. And changing the kernel is also pretty easy. I think you have two or three kernels available for the POCO F1 so you just have to download the kernel zip file and you need to flash it via TWRP and that way you can install a custom kernel on your phone as well. Lastly, I want to leave you guys with a trick that enables 60fps recording on the POCO F1. So you need to be rooted for this. So if you want to root your phone, it's very easy. Download the Magisk zip file, which I have linked in the video's description, then go to TWRP and install it. This should easily root your phone. Now you need to download the ANX camera zip file that is available in the description. Go to Magisk, go to Modules, find the ANX camera zip file that we had downloaded earlier and install it reboot your phone. 
Now install the helper 1.2 APK which is once again linked in the description and follow what I'm doing on the screen now. If all goes well, you should have the MIUI camera app with all of the AI features and it will also support 60fps at 4K with EIS. As you can see everything works here, you also have the slow motion features, so enjoy them on your POCO F1. So yeah, that is how you get Lineage OS working on your POCO F1 as well as you get the 4K 60fps at EIS. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Honestly for me, the custom ROM support is a big boon for the POCO F1. I don't really like MIUI a lot on that phone, so having something like Lineage OS is a very good advantage for me. So if you guys want to install Lineage OS on your POCO F1 or any other ROM, then go ahead and do it because I don't think it's gonna cause any problems with the phone. The only thing that you need to do is unlock the bootloader on your phone and I don't think that voids the warranty anymore. Xiaomi phones do still retain their warranty even if you unlock the bootloader so I don't think that should be an issue. So unlock the bootloader, install a custom recovery and then flash the ROM that you like and get the best out of your POCO F1. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have any more questions then please let me know in the comments. I would love to help you guys out. And if you guys liked watching this video, do hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to press the notification bell. You can also watch this video in Hindi so the links for that would be in the video's description. And you can also contact me on my social media pages like Twitter and Instagram. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in the notifications very very soon. Peace.